Hi, everybody. Thank you for your perseverance. Um, and let me rename myself because there we go. Hi, Laura. Sorry, I had to reset my internet. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. I just left you a voicemail. You can you can ignore it. Well, you know, this is the since, since you've been back. This is our first meeting since you've been back. And well, first of all, well, welcome back. Thank uh, much you. Appre much much appreciate you being back. And um, and anyway, so very happy you're very happy you're back. And thank you for those YouTube links. I know there was one more I sent you an email about, but whenever you get to it, you can send that. Okay. Um, or you can send it when you send this one, actually. Um, so anyway, so so I'm, I'm glad I'm glad you're here to make a long <laughs> story short. So um, so I did send the agenda out to people. I, I um, uh, and and I am, by the way, uh, I've worked out a deal with my boss. Uh, to start working three days a week at my day job. I keep talking about, am I going to retire? And I am transitioning in July to three days a week, which I'm hoping is going to give me more time. So I, I appreciate everybody's uh, patience when things have come right before the meeting, but uh, I do predict that will change. So anyway, all that being said, uh, I did send out the agenda and let me go ahead and, and we'll kind of jump right into things here. I'll uh, put the agenda up and I will share my screen. And I think everybody's here, by golly, because the iPhone, I think, is Michael, who said he'd be on the train. So if we don't, he I'll assume the iPhone is Michael, but if we don't hear Michael, he's on a train. So that's uh, that's the way that goes. Um, so I will share my screen to share the agenda. Um so open the meeting, which we actually did at 640. And there we are, 640. Uh, we'll adopt the agenda as soon as I go through it. Now, I, I know the plan was we would save time in meetings by not reviewing minutes in the meeting. And the fact is, I still owe you some minutes, but of the minutes I have sent, I think I only got one email from one person approving. So um, even though it seems more efficient to do it by email, we don't seem to be doing it. But in any event, you do have in your email at this point minutes for April 26th, May 10th, and what I sent today. Um, and I'll add a year onto that. So uh, the other part of the agenda is I did want to talk about plans for future meetings because we talked about what do we want to do up until the end of June. We didn't talk about beyond that, but we should. Um, but I'll ask you about that after we go through the agenda. Status and laws in progress. I am checking with Bill to see exactly where these are. I don't have an answer for you. They've certainly been with the planning board for long enough that they should have responded, but I need to um, get an answer there. Uh, housing, we'll talk about these things, the building permit moratorium, what's going on with public hearing, the oversight committee, a professional looking to have a professional hired, and then Ed sent an email earlier today. So those are the topics that I had hoped to talk about in this session. And um, do I have a motion to adopt the agenda? Yeah, I make the motion to adopt the agenda. Thank you, David. Do I, what's that? I heard a second. Who seconded? Connor. Connor, thank you. Thank you, Connor. And welcome back from vacation, Connor. Um, all in favor, aye. Aye. Yay, I saw a hand. Aye. I heard enough. <laughs> I heard some eyes. A hand. Okay. So um, in any event, for now, uh, the next topic is minute status. We'll just kind of let that be. Um, so future meetings. Now, well, I'm going to jump down for a moment to this Woodstock Moratorium Oversight Committee because the moratorium, we'll talk about that, and then we'll talk about what we want to do about our meetings. We've um, The moratorium public hearing did happen as planned on June 8th. This is a month. There are four months in the year where the town board's second meeting is the fourth Tuesday instead of the third Tuesday. And this is one of those months. If the third Tuesday is, is early in the month, like the 15th and the 16th, a lot of times the second meeting gets pushed back a week because we pay bills in that meeting. It allows more bills to come in. So that's why we make that decision. So um, part two is going to be at the second town board meeting of June, which is going to be June 22nd. So the public hearing, we had a lot of public come out on June 8th. A lot of public spoke for the, for the moratorium. Some spoke against the moratorium, but everybody had very heartfelt input and it went, you know, it, it was a very good public hearing. And then Supervisor McKenna adjourned it. And then we will have part two on June 22nd. 
So that's that. There's a moratorium, a witch doc moratorium oversight committee being formed. That's what I'm calling it for now. It's going to get a name, but I don't know what that's going to be. But the proposed members, I'll say a list could change, but the members that appear to be locked in are Deb Dewan, who is very likely to be the chair, uh, four members from our committee. Uh, Michael is on it. Uh, I'm not sure whether Michael is on it because he's a ZBA rep, because I'm sure they want a ZBA rep on the committee, but Michael is on it. Jeff and I are both on it representing the Zoning Revision Committee. Ed is on it, I think, representing the STR committee. But the fact is, we have four members of our committee that are on this oversight committee. Um, and besides that, Richard Hepner, who is the town board liaison to the housing committee, Kirk Ritchie, did I mention Kirk? Uh, Kirk Ritchie is a co-chair of the housing committee. Deb Dewan is on the housing committee. And Judy Kerman, who I think that she's not locked in yet. I think that Bill believes everybody else is locked in. Um, but Judy Kerman, I think he was still talking with her. So I don't even know if you talked to her the, for the first time yet. So anyway, it could be news to Ju Judy that she's on the list. But that's the plan of who's on the committee. So um, and it's going to be appointed by the supervisor. So it does not take a town board meeting to get kicked off. It, it's an appointment by the supervisor. So that's how that is looking. If anybody, um, including Michael, who um, I don't know if you're able to, to, to put a chat in the chat if you're not able to speak from your traveling there, but in any event, um, so so that's how the committee looks right now. Now, the other piece of news, and it was one of the recommendations that this committee made, was that we should have a professional hired. And there's a resume that came in. Um, if you all wanted, I could share it or I could I could send it around to you. I, I just got it today. Um, I could send it around to you or I could share it. But it's somebody that Deb Dewan has worked with in the past. Her name is, well, it, what it says right there, Nan Stolzenberg, AICP, CEP, uh, out of Bern, New York. And so we did actually, um, we did actually approve. We had a, a, an emergency town board meeting today because we wanted to get that. We didn't want to waste any time bringing her on board. So the, the town uh, board did look at her plan and we have uh, you know, the references Deb Dewan has worked with, with her before. And so the plan is to, um, to hire her. An $8,000 grant came in. Um, so, so her price is going to be, and I'm just pulling it out here, but her price is going to be probably less than $11,000 uh, is her estimate. So that being the case, a grant covering 8,000 of it, the town would be covering less than 3,000, which I think is terrific, actually. So- um, But who would be an expert for the uh, moratorium committee? She would be, correct. She would be focused on housing. She would be an expert for the moratorium committee. And uh, Deb Dewan has worked with her in the past. So Deb Dewan knows her. Okay. And if you want, I'm, I'm happy to share the list of what uh, she would be doing, but in, in any event, so, so. Well, why don't you send that to all of us? So. Uh, okay. Um, all righty. Well, and, and I'm actually going to tweak it a little bit. The town, we did agree at the town board meeting, we're going to hire her. I thought it needed a tweak because uh, in my view, there's a difference between, um, as we've learned here, right? There's a difference between somebody saying, hey, I have an idea for a zoning law at like like floating zone. And then somebody's saying, okay, in Woodstock, here is where you want to use it and when you want to use it and some more detail to get some teeth in it. And then you got to write the zoning law. So I want to make sure it's clear what pieces of that she's going to be doing. So um, in any event, I was going to make some updates and then send. Uh, Wait okay. a minute. She's being hired as a housing expert? She, it's somebody who can help us with our laws on housing. She had her, her title, and I did put it right in the agenda, AI, and I don't know what this means, actually, AICPCEP. <clears throat> I couldn't tell you exactly what that stands for, but we could Google it. So, yes, she would be a professional uh, helping with the, uh, I'm just going to read this here. 
to assist the town update its zoning related to housing needs in the community. The following tasks are presented in a recommended order. Uh, project goal, well, she says work with the Woodstock Housing Committee and there's something right there. She ought to be working with the Zoning Revision Committee as well. And Zoning Rev Committee. Well, so, so I think the wording needs a little work, but, but we, we do have agreed to hire her. So yes, work with the Woodstock Housing Committee and Zoning Revision Committee to update the town's zoning law to be consistent with the 2018 Conference of Plan Policies and Recommendations and the Hudson Valley Greenway Principles. Time frame: initiate project upon acceptance of town's Hudson Valley Greenway grant, which got accepted to be completed. Uh, and she's saying 12 months after initiation, but we're looking for nine months. So there are a couple of flaws in here, but I-, uh, I, yeah, I yeah, but has this woman ever worked <laughs> on a zoning law? Has she ever written or written language for a zoning law? I, I do not have a resume. So, so getting a resume would be a good thing. Ideas for housing versus language for a zoning law are different. Well, let me, let me share. I'm already sharing, but let me, because we can look at this together. Um, and the print is itty bitty, but I'll, I'll expand it because I, I always appreciate your input. Um, and it's a two pager. So this is page one. I don't know if you can read this. It's designed to assist the town updated zoning related to housing needs in the community. The following task presented in recommended order. She says work with a housing committee, but I think she ought to be saying also zoning revision committee. Update the town's zoning law, da, da, da. we just said that. Uh, initiate project, we need to say nine months because we really have nine months. And as I said before in one of these meetings, we ought to just be focused on the nine months and not focus on using 12 months because then what do you do if you run out of time? You got no cushion. So, um, and then she's got optional tasks. Uh, review relevant well, well, material, review zoning text and maps and subdivision law. So she review those things. Prepare for an attend kickoff meeting uh, with housing committee. And every time she just says the housing committee, she, she ought to be talking about the zoning oversight committee. Um, uh, interview with key stakeholders. Right, so she's kind of included us down here, but anyway, she, we belong up, up higher. Uh, and then what is she deliverable? Zoning audit results, uh, summary of meetings, summary of strengths and weaknesses related to housing in Woodstock. So I'm looking at her deliverables here. Zoning update recommendation report, red line zoning updates. So she is planning to give us a zoning update. Draft updated zoning. So she's talking about doing edits, develop a draft zoning updates via a red line version of the zoning and then edits the red line zoning as housing committee makes decisions. Um, yeah, she's gonna include zoning revision committee with that too. So um, I'm gonna, every time I see housing committee, I'm, I'm gonna say, um, okay. Because the housing committee has already said they're not writing zoning. So um, attend public hearing because whatever law we do is gonna have a public hearing. Uh, I don't wanna read everything to you, but I could if you can't, if the print's too small to read, but Ed, I'm, I'm always- No, I, I, can, always... I can read it, but uh, so, um, so zoning map. Uh, well, we have a zoning that, map. It's that the... is really quicksand bog. Uh, I remember going through, you know, I chaired this committee a long time ago, but we we had to prepare a townwide zoning map and it mm -hmm. was uh, not easy to do. And anytime you open the floodgates for changing a zoning map, that's what it can be. I mean, uh, to, so to have this person responsible or suggesting changes to the zoning map 
I mean, the town well, board well, is. Well, well is she's not, saying re review the zoning text and maps. Uh, I don't think it said she might actually. She, oh, may include zoning map update if needed. Well, you're you're right about that. There, there it is, right there. So who who wrote this text we're reading here? I believe it was her. I believe it was Nan. She says, based on conversations, I have developed the following proposed scope and budget. And she, her conversations are mainly with Deborah Dewan. Her Deborah Dewan is the one that knows for the best. Well, who with whom was she talking with Bill? Well, Richard Hepner, you know. Deborah Dewan is on the housing committee and this came up on the housing committee. So the housing committee discussed, my understanding is that the housing committee discussed bringing Nan on as an expert to help in this because Deborah Dewan knew her and, and knew work she had done and believed that she was the right person, the right professional to help us. Oh, so uh, Richard Hepner spoke on her behalf at the, at the town board meeting today. Uh, Deborah Dewan was not there, uh, nor was anybody else who could speak to her. Uh, to speak about her, but Bill and Richard both. So who was it that suggested that she make suggestions for possibly for alterations to the zoning map? I don't know who recommended that. Okay. But, right. but, but, but if we're going to talk about zoning, um, the map is kind of part of zoning. And if you're talking about housing, the map kind of, you know, it's the R1, the R3, the R5, the R8. So if you're going to talk about zoning, it makes sense to be considering the map. There's two things. There's the schedule of use uh, pages that show mm -hmm. what can be done in each zoning district and mm -hmm. what can't be done in each zoning district. Mm -hmm. And then there's the map itself, which... You know, you when you change a zoning, you have to define it. You have to describe it in a written format. Right. And uh, <laughs> if you're going to re redefine an R5 and make it an R3, I mean, it, it can have a really, it can really upset a, an area of Woodstock. Mm-hmm. So I'm saying it's like walking on eggs or in a right. sand bog. I know this for a fact. That right. Once, once you throw a zoning map open, then all kinds of interests will seek to have a hand in the right. redefinition of mm -hmm. zoning districts mm -hmm. because millions of dollars uh, rest on changing. Right. Right. Okay. All righty. So, um, so I so, would I would suggest that all suggestions for alterations of the zoning map have to go to the zoning revision committee for its. Uh, well, well, the zoning revision committee ought to be part of this from the get. I mean, we we got four of us from this committee is on the super committee and she's going to be working with the super committee and this document needs to say she's working with the super committee. So right now it says she's working with the housing committee, but that's, uh, in, in my view, that is um, insufficient. So my understanding is she's working with the super committee. It's just she, you know, because anyway, so I need to make that point, but I agree with you. Okay. It's inviting trouble. So. Yes. Uh, we should be the people, the committee to which zoning changes are referred mm -hmm. for the, for our acceptance. I mean, if somebody, if they, you know, the, the, the rules on changing a zoning uh, district are very clear in the zoning law, you know, na uh, uh, a certain number of neighbors or property owners can make a suggestion or the town board can make a suggestion. So. Right. Right. So, yeah. So, right. So I will, um, I will be updating this and I, and thank you for your input. Does anybody else have any input that they wanted to add? 
Okay. All righty. So I'll go back to the agenda. Um, so, so we talked about the professional being hired, the oversight committee, the public hearing is going to have part two coming up a week from tomorrow. Um, so given that, so some questions that I have as far as our future meetings, because we had, we had put our schedule in place until the end of this month. So we have another meeting on the books. The plan is Zoom, uh, you know, we're the second and fourth Monday. What I didn't know, since four of us are going to be on this oversight committee, and since, um, and the oversight committee is certainly any meeting anybody can go to. So even though Connor and Dave aren't specifically on the oversight committee, there's nothing to stop them from going. Do, do we want to still be trying to meet twice a month along with that? And we can decide, you know, we're going to meet again in two weeks. We can make a decision then what do we want to do? Because we should know more about this oversight committee and when it's going to meet. But my question is, um, I mean, one option is we say, well, gee, there's four people that are going to be working on that. We had put a halt to the work Connor was doing on the uh, the scenic overlay district, and Connor had done quite a bit of really good work on that. And we had put a halt on that work while we focused on housing. We decided housing was more important. Are, are we at a point where we can try to do both things? Yes. Because was that Ed? Yes, I mean, I in my letter today, I pointed out that Connor had done good work for the scenic yes. overlay district. So it's time to go to the law, make a copy of the law, and, mm -hmm. and type in tentative changes based on our mainly Connor's work. You know, yep. there's stuff about uh, using drones and and uh, so forth. Mm -hmm that we can oh. add and, and protect the forests of Woodstock. And I pointed out that the economic well-being of Woodstock is connected to those beautiful lands uh, viewscapes up in mm -hmm. the scenic overlay district. Right. So it makes economic sense to protect the scenic overlay district. Mm -hmm. Right, okay. So, um, yeah, and I agree 100%. And, and I know we had, all, we had all made a decision together that we will put that work on hold while we focus on housing, but now housing seems to have its own momentum. So, um, okay, so so we'll do that in parallel. And how do, do we want to keep our twice a month? Because again, four of us are going to be meeting however, however often this zoning oversight uh, committee, this moratorium oversight committee meets. So four of us will be meeting then. So do we want to keep me? Well, and the other thing too, honestly, summer's coming, and I, I am going to have a problem myself attending. Um, let me just I'm pulling my calendar up here. So I know that the second the second Monday is August 9th. I, I will have a problem making an August 9th meeting. Um, well, we can do a one 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 a month meeting for the rest of the summer, and then in the in the fall. Uh, go back to two a month because if as the zoning revision committee if we have to write text mm -hmm. for all these changes or we have to approve the text that mm -hmm. the consultant comes up with that you know we'll have our plate full especially with the scenic overlay and other things that come up okay so we could go to one a month Till the end of the summer, and then do two, schedule in two a month beginning in September. Okay. Do we still want to stick? Because um, if we're doing one a month, I, yeah, my thought is we're going to meet in two weeks because that's our last meeting that we have scheduled. If we went to one a month, it would make sense to me to have it be the the fourth Monday of the month. Although we could pick the third Monday, it can be whatever. It's just I can't make the second Monday in August. So if we wanted to. It can be whatever Monday of the month everybody wants. Um, so uh, fine, you know, third or or, or uh, fourth, I don't care. I just think we need a regular schedule because our right. our work is very very serious and yes. important because I know that people want to want to take advantage of the rewriting of the zoning law to make right. it weaker. We, we want to make it more positive and, and environmentally protective 
and yet open it up for housing for regular working people. So okay. to do that, it's going to need all of our skills. Yeah. Okay. So for the purpose of us doing the parallel work, we're going to focus on scenic overlay. And I know that's Connor's work and Ed, I know you volunteered to work with him. So we will plan, and I, I think this is helpful. So we'll plan for our next meeting. We'll plan to meet, we're going to meet in two weeks. We'll meet then again the end of July, July 26th. We'll meet towards the end of August, August 23rd. And thereafter, we'll start our second and fourth Mondays will start again. Do we want to continue 6.30? It seems that we've been, uh, people have been liking the 6.30, I think. Um, although it can be whatever people want it to be. And the other thing is, uh, so Ed, I think you're the main person, although I haven't really asked David. Well, I guess I could poll everybody. Um, I, I know since I've been double vaccinated, I'm less skittish about in person, but I want to respect uh, if anybody's skittish about in person, we're just going to keep Zooming. So um, do, do we just want to say we're going to keep Zooming? Yes, or I, I am very leery of this. Uh, I forget the name of the variant. It's the one right. from India. Delta. Delta, variant Delta. And until the word really gets worked out on variant Delta, I'm okay. very... I mean, I get invited to do readings all over America, but I turn them all down, and right. uh, except for Zoom meetings. So right. I, I don't know. I I know that you know I'm getting a lot of invitations to go to events, but I'm very hesitant about. Uh, I don't. I think we get enough work done by Zoom. You know, we do. How much more can we? You know, I mean, it's nice to see everybody, but. You know this 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 virus is trying to murder us. Yes, it it is it, it it is indeed, and I think we have the upper hand, but we need to be smart about it if we want to keep the upper hand. And I'm totally in favor of being smart about it. So, um, okay. So unless anybody disagrees, we're going to have one meeting in July, one meeting in August. We'll go, which will be the fourth meeting, the fourth Monday in July, the fourth Monday in August, and then we'll also have a chance to see how consumed the four of us get who are on the other committee. And then we will um, we'll go back to the second and fourth Monday when, when September comes. And uh, in the meantime, I appreciate Ed and Connor agreeing to focus on the scenic overlay. Um, so other, other things, let me just go back because we're, we're, doing, we're doing great here. So, so we covered uh, the meeting schedule. Uh, we've already covered laws in progress. I don't have an answer yet. I'm still looking for the answer. Um, the other thing was to talk about Ed's email that I forwarded as well. I know Ed talked about, um, I'll stop screen, screen sharing for a moment. I can still screen share if people want to, um, if people want me to show that email, I certainly could, but everybody does have it. And I have it too here. Well, there we go. And so, and when I responded to it, I know, um, so, Ed, you had said you, you have reached out to the chairwoman of the Kingston Land Trust. I happen to have a friend, actually, who is involved with the Kingston Land Bank, which is different from the Land Trust. Yes. And so... Um, Let's bring this person in if they'll come in. They will, yes. My, my friend will come in, and you mentioned uh, the name, and I actually put it in the agenda. Um, uh, I thought I put it in the agenda. Oh, I put it somewhere. Okay. Uh, oh, well, I, 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 I must have put it in the minutes, but that would have been a little premature because we hadn't really. Oh, well, I, I did. I guess I did put it in the minute. I did put it in the minutes because I know I looked her up for the minutes because you had said you're going to reach out to her. And I just looked, I just Googled her and found her. So um, in any event, yes. But my question is, I don't know if it makes sense for us to bring them into our meetings. Now that we have the oversight committee meeting, it might be good for them to come in and talk with all the committees that are involved. So this is the point where um, I, I, I'm believing that the oversight committee will get going pretty soon. And this is the point that part of me says we should wait and see where they're going because if we have guests come into our meeting, then the housing committee's not hearing it and the other people and- well, 
the point is it takes it took Kingston four years mm -hmm. to get a land bank approved. So uh -huh. the town of Woodstock, we're the committee that can propose uh, in the name of affordable housing, a land bank, but the town has to, I don't even know how it's done. I mean, it's, is it the secretary of state? Is it the state legislature? I mean, who is it that approves a land <coughs> bank? And well, I, 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 I don't. Well, one more thing, a land yeah. trust that <coughs> Susan Goldman has, a, has put together mm -hmm. requires a land bank to get, mm. in, get ah. its property. So, okay. So the land bank is is a created by the town, which then sets aside certain types of property, mm -hmm. and and the land trust can take this property and set up a system where when somebody sells or somebody moves out of their house mm -hmm. or apartment, they can't just make a lot of money. They have to turn right. it over to the land trust for reuse at affordable rates by someone. Mm -hmm. So the land trust will own the land that the mm -hmm. land bank turns over to them. Okay. So it's 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 a complicated thing, but it's being done more and more and it's a way of keeping housing affordable. Mm -hmm. So right. this woman could come in that the land bank, your friend, <laughs> And well, he, he's he's a he actually, but that's right. yeah. Well, he could come in and just give us an overview so we can know how to how to prepare a request to the board to begin legal mm -hmm. maneuvers to get a land bank allowed. I, the state, yeah. some but some institution has to approve it. Yeah, I don't know who it is. Well, so besides the approval, there's a question of the money. And and apparently um, Warren Buffett's son, who has access to, I guess, some of the family fortune, uh, is a is funding what Kingston's doing. Apparently, he's selected three communities across the country. And for some reason, Pitt Kingston is being one of them. Um, so so they're getting so they're getting funding. So. Um, I, I'm not sure if we'd have it as easy a time getting funding, but getting somebody who's going to pay for it is certainly a big thing. So that's part of what it is. But he would certainly understand. And he could talk also. And I, I appreciate your explanation about the relationship between the bank and the trust. But he would he knows that stuff. Also, we were you know, we were having a um, we were at lunch the other day, actually. Uh, he and his wife, I was with lunch with he and his wife and he started talking about that. It's like, oh, wow, that's like right up our alley. Um, so yes, he definitely definitely said so, he would come talk. You know, if he's he could come in, I mean, he might have to come in two or three times, but we could start the ball rolling in our committee, mm -hmm. and you know, I could we could start writing a, a draft resolution for the board to consider, and not not make this. Uh, woman who's going to be the advisor to the larger committee get involved in it at this point. She's got a lot of things to do and we could right. move the workload around and mm -hmm. we have a professional writer here who's willing to help. Yep. Yeah. So, okay. So I can ask Bob, do you want me to invite him to our next meeting? Yes. Okay. To the June 28th meeting. Okay. I'll see if he's available. Okay. Okay, cool. So, um, so besides Ed and Connor working together on scenic overlay and Connor, do you have any, um, opinions on, are you, are you ready to get going on that again? Is that, is that an okay thing with you? It sounds good to me. I mean, you know, like, like I said, I'm not on the other committee and I think, uh, if that is going to take on a life of its own elsewhere, we should be aware of them. Why not pick up other business? Right. 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 And yep. You and I can communicate by email, Connor. And, and, you know, I could send you the, the, uh, from the zoning law, the, uh, a file, I got, depending on your, what you need, you need word or you want a 
text edit file, anyway, some sort of file that you could then start typing in possible. I might have, I might have Word on one of these machines. <laughs> I know, unfortunately, my main computer only has pages, which is a nightmare, but yeah, a Word file, I'm sure I could work. You know, and then well, it's just a matter of changing a law. It's just a matter of floating words into the text and you make them, you underline them and you strike out those that you're going to take out. I mean, it's easy to do. And uh, really, you know, you just have to have guts. You have to say, well, I'm, I'm going to change the law. And <laughs> you, you, you just boldly try it. And well, well put. You know, you got to have some guts to change a law. Yes. So, so let me uh, go around the go around the room here. So Je Jeff, uh, what's on your mind regarding all this? Are there things that you want to add, or things? Uh, looking forward to the big oversight committee. I guess to see what they're up to, or what's what's on your mind with things today? I think that a lot of what's we're talking about is going to be handled at the oversight committee. So let's, let's see what happens there. Okay. And David, what, what's on your mind? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, My Michael, are you able to talk? I see, I see a word that says iPhone. I, I, I am assuming that's Michael, but it might not be, and we haven't heard him yet. Um, is there more that we want to talk about today? I, th I think I think we will feel like we can get you know we'll start getting more momentum. I think I mean we, we've started a number of things. Um, you know I know we've talked about a number of things and we've we've talked about the you know should the town be buying up property on Zena Road and 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 I know at one point Ed you did say I should send an email to the town board saying you ought to buy it and somebody commented that the Zena the Zena school is you know we we we've you know that ship has sailed and so i don't know what yeah you know, jeff you tend to know a lot about a lot of things did, did that sell i i forget who i heard say that but senior school is sold yeah I and, for what I, I know it's sold them or it's impossible yeah. being sold okay but but then we still have the option of looking at the town-owned properties and we still and i know that the housing committee is still you know op looking at everything so uh, so I didn't actually send an email to the town board, but I, I know it's an idea that you would have is we ought to get going. But I, I kind of think that we ought to see what the oversight committee. I, I think we I think we want to kind of sync up with that and be part of the bigger program. Um, so I, I am hesitant to do also, too much. I have no problem. I found out last week that there's 90 acres. It's three separate lots owned by the same person, total of 90 acres. That's for sale on Zena Road um, for a price of about two and a half million dollars, I believe it is. Wow, okay. It's empty, empty land. For, for what, what was that? You're, you're, and I, you're, you're a little million. faint, so, so. 90 acres for two and a half million. For, for two and a half million, I bought, okay. Mind, I bought 70 acres for Two hundred thousand, not that long ago. <laughs> yeah, there, 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 there you go. So years ago, but yeah. Yeah, and I don't like to be gouged. You know, I feel like everybody's still gouging because of this big, uh, you know, flow of people out of New York City. I feel like the prices are still. High. I hate to buy high. It's like stocks. You know, you want to buy low and sell high. You don't want to buy high, and that's kind of what land is at the moment. So, um, but. We'll, yeah, we'll kind of, kind of kind of see. amazing price to me. Right, right. So, okay. Uh, anything else, anybody? Um, because I think that we're good on our topics, kind of a short meeting tonight, but it was good to touch base. I think we covered the main things that are going on. I think the Moratorium Oversight Committee will give us a new look on things and a different, you know, we'll, we'll have a lot of the right people together, I think, on that. Is there more that people do want to talk about in this meeting? Okay, do, do I have a motion to adjourn? I motion. Yay, Ed, second. Second. Yay, Connor, all in favor? Aye. Aye.
So here we are at 7, 720 thereabouts. Okay, so thank you, Ashley. If you can hear us, we're, we're finished. Thank you, everybody. And we will talk in two weeks and, and we know what we're doing at this point. Have a good one. <laughs> yeah, you too. Thanks. Bye, all. Goodbye. <clears throat> <clears throat>